Welcome to another video with me, Andrea. I am just eating some of these vegan chicken fingers or faux fingers or they're so good. They're by Robert Gardein or Garden. Um, and yeah, they're not the healthiest food, but they actually do have a lot of healthy ingredients. And, um, you know, faux meat can be a good kind of just lazy snack. I had probably six or seven of these, um, seven of them. And I calculated that that's 44 grams of protein. And you're supposed to get 70 grams a day when you're pregnant in your, or at least in your second trimester. So that's over 62% um, of what you're supposed to have in a day. And I got 70% of the iron I'm supposed to have in a day, 70% of zinc and niacin, and 55% of thiamine. So in the end, you know, they've got, they've got sodium, they're, they've got calories, but they've got some good stuff too. So like I said, I'm not perfect. I don't just eat fresh fruits and vegetables every day, but I, I mostly do, but I enjoy some snacks like this also. And they're, and they're really yummy. And, um, they taste, you know, they're really good. Okay. So I wanted to talk to you guys a bit about second trimester stuff today. Um, I talked a lot about different things in the first trimester that women don't really talk about or were unexpected. So I wanted to talk a bit about the second trimester today. So the first thing I want to talk about is skin. Um, I've been noticing that my skin has actually gotten worse in the second trimester, especially around my um, chin. I'm not wearing any makeup today, so you can see here and here and then here. I might not look like much, but for me, who's used to having absolutely um, perfect skin, it's definitely an adjustment. Um, this is all hormonal. It's all normal. But, you know, we kind of lie to women. We talk about this, like, pregnancy glow and how you're just going to look so beautiful. And really, a lot of women suffer from really bad skin when they're in their first and second trimester. So you're not alone there. Um, the second thing I wanted to talk about is round ligament pain. So I just experienced this for the first time a couple of days ago. It's very common during the second trimester. And essentially what happens is there are all these ligaments that are holding your womb in place, especially this one called the round ligament, which um, comes from the front of your womb, your womb and ends in your groin area. And when your uterus and your womb is kind of stretching out, this round ligament is strained and you'll get what's called round ligament pain. And it is actually quite painful. Um, I experienced it like right in my groin and it feels like someone's just kind of shooting a hot stick at my vagina. It's awful and it's quick, um, but it's painful. And uh, you'll experience it when you're, when like you have a sudden movement. So like if you move in your sleep, in your sleep suddenly and all of a sudden you're like, ah, oh, or when you sneeze or, um, yeah, like just any sudden movement, like when you lift your leg up or get up off the couch and then all of a sudden you'll feel this like, ooh, like pain right in your vagina. So uh, a lot of women also experience them on their lower belly. Um, but you know, it's, it's very common and, um, it's just kind of part of being pregnant. Um, another thing I want to talk about during the second trimester is easing yourself back into exercise. So, you know, for many women, the first trimester is kind of a write off. You're not really feeling very well. Um, you're very low energy and then all of a sudden you get your energy back a bit in the second trimester. And you're like, okay, like now I have to like start training for this like epic labor that's going to come my way because you really don't want to be lazy your whole pregnancy. It's just not healthy for you. It's not healthy for the baby. So 
What I've been doing and I found to be the best exercise for me right now is swimming. I've been going swimming uh, four or five times a week for an hour and I do, you know, breaststroke and front crawl and back crawl and everything I can to just get my my body moving and it's great for the core and it's great cardio and I've been really enjoying that. And I've also been going walking quite a bit and so I'll go on the days that I'm not swimming, I'll go on a nice 45 minute walk and just kind of get some exercise and build up my my exercise, my ease myself back into exercise. And then I'm hoping that in the next few weeks, I might feel inclined to do some weight training and like body resistance training as well. And I'll see if I can get you guys to see a little belly update. There. So, it's not much of a mush. You can't really see it actually. Maybe if I pull out my pants a bit. Just this tiny, tiny little bump. But if I come forward, you know, I've still got my muscle, I've still got some definition, but there's just this little bit of a roundness coming, especially if I just try to suck in, you can see it even more, just this like little pooch coming at the end. And I actually recently um, felt some movement down there, just felt kind of like a, a bony fish was <laughs> swimming in my uterus, it's the only way I could really explain it, and um, yeah, it's just you know, it's slowly coming around. I'm almost 15 weeks now, and so in the next few weeks, it's probably going to grow quite a bit as the baby gets uh, doubles in weight each week for the next few weeks. Um, it's going to get bigger and bigger. And uh, the last thing I wanted to talk about is my dreams. So I've mentioned this in the past, that during pregnancy, dreams can just be so insane. And I just want to say this continues into the second trimester, at least it has for me. I have been having like crazy dreams. They are incredibly vivid um, and they're totally random, but it feels like you're in almost like an action movie. Um, and so I just wanted to say that that's totally normal if you're still having those dreams. And uh, lastly, for the second trimester um, are migraines. Um, I've definitely been getting some pretty bad headaches during this trimester, uh, more so than I did in my first trimester, and it's just kind of like a tightness in my head. And so, yeah, like I, I think, I think we kind of do. We're trying to give women hope. The second trimester is so, so much better than the first trimester. So you know, of course, when women are suffering from terrible nausea and morning sickness. We want to tell them it gets better, it gets better. But they're still stuck, you know. There's still pains and aches and headaches and, you know, so it's not perfect. Um, but you definitely have more energy and my nausea is completely gone. Thank goodness. So no more nausea. And, um, but don't expect to feel um, completely normal. But you might. Like I said so many times, pregnancy is so different for so many women. It is not the same for everyone, and you might feel nothing, and you might feel everything. So um, exciting in the next 25 days, I'm going to have my first ultrasound. I've opted out of a lot of the ultrasounds and tests because... I just don't feel like they're necessary, but I am doing an anatomy scan in 25 days, and we'll find out the gender or the sex of the baby, and uh, I look forward to sharing that uh, sharing that information with you guys. Boy or girl, who sees? So hopefully our baby is in a unmodest mood and decides to flash the ultrasound technician and mommy and daddy, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated on that. So enjoy all you lady, pregnant ladies, and if you have any comments about things that you've experienced in your second trimester, did you have round ligament pain, how's your skin doing, uh, how, what exercises have you found enjoyable, 
uh, to get ease yourself back into it. I'd love to hear your own unique experiences. Thank you and have a nice day.